pastor struck and killed by a police officer is now moving out of Stamford, and the victim's family is not happy about it. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has the new developments from the courthouse. So we thank you, God, that everything that we said and done today. Family and friends of Reverend Dr. Tommy Jackson leaning on their faith to help deal with his loss. There was intention. There was an opportunity for this person to have slowed down. Daughter Erin Jackson avoided saying the name Zachary Lockwood, the Stamford rookie cop who moments earlier was in court, pleading not guilty to misconduct with a motor vehicle. In July, Lockwood struck and killed Reverend Jackson as he crossed the street to pick up his mail. Lockwood was doing 65 in a 25, moments before impact, speed that violated the dispatcher's call for a code one non-emergency response. And this person made a willful decision, a willful choice to ignore the nature of the call. To avoid conflict of interest, the case was moved out of Stamford, but the choice of Milford doesn't sit well with the family. The racial makeup of Milford is 83% white, and 1.8% African American seems like there is a bias already. Well, we did put the prosecution on notice today that we're filing a motion to change venue. Attorney Darnell Crossland says Bridgeport would be a better choice. The family also pushing for continued investigation to see if a manslaughter charge is merited. The lawyer for Officer Lockwood left court with just a brief comment calling the death of Tommy Jackson a tragic accident. In Milford, Connecticut, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Lockwood is suspended from his job and free on $10,000 bond as this case proceeds.